Ah, hello everybody. Do you ever struggle to tell an interesting story with your art or with your music? In the French language world, one of the feedbacks that people sometimes get on their art is that it's a bit too premier degré. That means a little bit too shallow. It's not that interesting and it doesn't invite the viewer or the listener in to contemplate it very deeply. So what's the antidote to staying stuck in the premier degré? Well, I'm going to offer you a storytelling concept that can break you out of that in your music or whatever art form that you're doing. So in order to not get stuck in this premier degré, I would like to offer you a concept called juxtaposition. It's a storytelling or compositional tool and we can use it in our music making. And as an example of this, I would like to show you two versions of the same song, but that tell a very different story. This is a little exercise that we're going to do together so you can really feel the emotional difference that making strong choices can have. And so the artist in question that I want to talk about is called Obang Jair, and he made this song called I Wish It Were Me. So that's one of the versions that we're going to talk about. And then he collaborated with Fred again, and they made a song called I Adore You, which is basically retelling that original song, but with some very important changes to the storytelling of the song. Stay with me now and let's listen together to the song. Think about what emotions that it conjures up and what are the crucial elements to the storytelling of the track. We're going to look at the lyrics together and then we're going to look at the differences. Let's look at the Fred again one first. So what are we hearing? Let's put some words to it. Now you may or may not know the background of this song. This is a tribute to the younger brother of Obang Jair. So it's like a love song. It's like a singing your praises. I adore you. I adore you. The love between siblings. It's so gorgeous. It's a celebration moment and we've just got this like house piano and beat that's going to work well for a big dance floor. That's Fred again's contribution to this whole thing. And so what have we got? We've got a strong choice of a combination of dance music, like dance floor, let's go high energy, with this euphoric I love you, praise you kind of a vibe. And that resonates with a lot of people. And when I say a lot, I mean like 90 million streams at this point, which, you know, is pretty hefty. Anyway, that's a version of storytelling, right? Now let's look at the song that inspired it, aka basically the same song, but with a few storytelling decisions that go differently. I had my way every day would be a parade Ooh, I adore you I'm so proud, proud of all that you are I wish it was me now, obviously, the instrumentation was different because it served a different purpose, because you may have noticed that this song, this version of the song, includes the important line, I wish it was me. And that suddenly turns this whole, like, unambiguous, like, love letter to your sibling into this, like, oh, we're allowing ourselves to talk about the slightly dark emotions of maybe jealousy, resentment, feeling left behind, this kind of comparison or mirroring or... I don't know, the whole song still has this love letter vibe, so that seems very real and very genuine and something that you can still resonate with. But the emotion is more three-dimensional and it's more human and it invites you to reflect on it just a whole bunch more. And so here the storytelling decisions that we see are we combine something that's very kind of holy and beautiful and uplifting with something that's kind of dark and kind of hard to talk about. And together, these two things are juxtaposed. And that brings us back to the intro of the video, which is juxtaposition creates deep art. It creates art that's worth contemplating, that's worth thinking about. And juxtaposition is nothing more than taking two different ideas and smooshing them together. And when you smoosh them together, the audience tries to make sense of it. And that effort of trying to make sense of two different ideas, that triggers engagement and interest from the audience. So you take something happy and you add something sad. But for example, in the case of the Fred Again song, you take something high energy like dance music and you add something euphoric and delicate like this love declaration to somebody. And these things together are already quite dense. And so then as the artist, no matter what story you're trying to tell, it's up to you and your responsibility to make choices in the creation of your art. And I imagine that when Obong Jair and Fred Again sat together to work out what this version of the song was going to be, they might have tried reinterpreting the entire song, but then adding that sad and, and vulnerable dimension to the song 
maybe it was too many ideas. And so they thought maybe, and I'm just assuming here, but they thought maybe that the product would be too complicated and too dense if they tried to deliver all the emotions from the original. And rather they would take the super catchy love declaration and turn that into a dance floor hit. Both of these storytelling approaches have their value and it's fine if one of the two resonates way more with you. But at the end of the day, it's all about choices and juxtaposing elements. Just like when you compose a visual image, if you make it all blue, then maybe adding a splash of red will suddenly give it depth. If you make drums and you make them fully dry, but then you add in one with a lot of reverb, by combining different and seemingly opposing ideas, you create something that invites the listener's interest in and allows them to get lost in contemplation about your art. And I would like to suggest that that might be the way to not get stuck in the premier degré, as the French would say. If you like the way I teach music or art or whatever, go check out my website. I've got some courses there. Leave a nice comment below to warm my heart. And until next time, stay producing, be good to each other, and take care. Bye-bye. When you pray you're answered, you walk through life just like a dancer. If I had my way, every day would be a parade. Oh.